uh, but anyway, the no DQ match between Bronson Reed and The Miz. Brian, did you peruse this or skip to the finish like I did? Yeah, you know, again, it's a three-hour show. There's so much going on. I like Bronson Reed, though. I like everything they're doing with him. I was surprised that they uh, did this match with The Miz uh, this week. But uh, whatever gets Bronson Reed over, they're doing a better job than anything they've done uh, since he's been up there. so Well, yeah, and that's why I wanted to see the finish. Obviously, I wanted to make sure they hadn't gone out of their minds. But it was, the match was the tables, the chairs, the kendo sticks, the garbage cans, the caca. And that, you know, so we get to the point. Bronson Reed won with the splash, which is, is over as f*** now because of what they've done. Imagine that. Stretcher some people out and give them some internal injuries with a simple fucking move, and simple move becomes over. And in this case, he goes for a second one, and they play music, and here comes Brown Strongman. And they have a big face-off, and then they just cut to a promo in the back with Sheamus. I don't know, what? But I don't want to see a Strongman anywhere around Bronson Reed right now. Let him keep squashing fucking jabronis and peons and or other mid-level talent he can't put a main eventer out every week however what if this leads to him doing what he's done to the giant braun Strowman? because this is the build up you got to think everything is to kind of build up seth rollins eventually returning and fighting a bronson reed that reads a bronson reed that reads a bronson <laughs> reed that means so much more now than he did a few months ago so it's not, you know, the long term isn't for him to lose to Braun Strowman, it's to lose to Seth Rollins. Is Braun someone that makes him a little stronger to get past to get the Rollins? Only if he just splashes him and nothing else. Because if they have a match first, it will be detrimental. Because... It, does it hurt him if it, someone does power moves to him right now? Well, especially when the guy's a foot taller than he is and fucking 50 or 60 pounds heavier. I mean, they're the the old. Everybody always used to try to book the Road Warriors against other big warlord and barbarian or powers of pain. Well, they were the powers of pain, but you know what I'm saying. They wanted to see them against the big monsters. They thought, but then as you look back in retrospect, in hindsight, the Road Warriors drew more money against the Tullys and Arns and the Midnight Expresses, the little heels with. A lot of heat that could take bumps for the big guys. Because then when, you know, it, I don't think that Bronson Reed versus Mr. Strong with Strowman, Stro, Strowman, whatever the fuck his name is, is going to be any kind of a good match to showcase how big of a fucking monster beast that Bronson Reed is. Even if, now, if he splashes him at the end, then just splash him. Don't have the fucking match. I think that would help Bronson read more. All right, well, back to that's, SmackDown. No, this is Raw. That's right. That's right. 